Hallo und willkommen zurück zu Shadowrun Returns Hong Kong. Und wir werden, oder nur Shadowrun Hong Kong? Shadowrun Hong Kong. Wir werden einmal jetzt hier weiter latschen und uns umschauen. Da kommen wir, glaube ich, her. Ja, jawohl. Das sieht noch Ärger aus. A well-muscled and heavily tattooed triad member looks up from his PDA. Bored but alert, behind him other yellow lotus soldiers take notice and turn to leer at you. You're in the wrong neighborhood, tourist boy. You and all your little tourist friends. I'm a local jackass. I work for kindly, uh, kindly Cheng. We all do. Show some respect. The tried soldier sneers at her. That's so. Then you already know that you shouldn't be here. That fossil doesn't run things around here anymore. His hands trace to the jacket and a, co a conspicuous bulge in the fabric. Could be a gun, a knife or a blackjack. Best get moving, little girl. Best move before we hurt you all real bad. I'm not gonna tell you twice. We are here to deliver a message to Strangler Bao. He pauses a mock in a mock consideration. Hmm, no, I don't think so. We haven't been told to expect anyone. Look, this is a message directly from Kindly Cheng to Strangler, Strangler Bao. They are both above your station. You wanna stand in the way of that? Screw this, we are leaving. Yeah, hey, you have a great day. He wiggles his fingers at your back, smirking the soldiers standing behind him be begin to laugh. You come upon a heavily muscled triad, sol triad soldier, screaming at a bearded old man, holding a bleeding nose. The punk webs a cheap, disposable cred stick in the old man's face. This? The bright plastic case would look cheerful if it weren't smeared with blood. This isn't enough. You've got two options, old man. You can find a way to pay all the money, or you can drag your bony ass deeper into the ball, find a spot for yourself there, with the pimps and the predators. They should find a nice use for you. Your choice. The old man wails. It's not fair, I can just pack up and leave. I've been living here 22 years and I... Is this how it's going to be? He rolls his burly shoulders. Fine by me. He's out cold. Hmm. Is he going to get There is so nix. Inspect. These tires have been set aflame and have been burning for some time. The smell is awful. Bucket of sand. Soll das da drauf kippen oder was? Pour the bucket of sand into the flames. The flames are stifted beneath the dirty sand and soil from the bucket. Schön, dass man da draufklicken kann, aber das nichts ändert. Broken Water Shut Off, Lower Level. Dann wird das vermutlich zu Lower Levels sein. Game Saved. Wir speichern aber nochmal. Manuel.
Okay, da geht's weiter, dann gucken wir erstmal in die Richtung. Lotus Enforcer. The Yellow Lotus Enforcer glares at you. You can see the outline of the old man's crutch stick in his vest pocket. He flexes and his muscles bulge. What do you want? Step away, asshole, right now. I thought I'd relieve you of the burden of currency. Crutch stick, please. I saw that you did to that old man back there. I am here to get his money back. Ah, yeah. Etikett Shadowrunner. Shaking down a Shadowrunner isn't a good idea, sweetheart. Give me the old man stick before I put a hole where your head is. I've got a better idea, I think I'll take your money instead. He, li he licks his lips. Give me your credit sticks or you will uh, get what the old guy got. I'm not playing around. Kick him in the face. Attack him. Oh, playtime is over, that's for sure. Machen wir mal zwei mit Shadowrunner. Na, ja, die Ladenzeiten sind halt ein bisschen. Wobei man ja jetzt normalerweise nicht so wahnsinnig viel laden wird. Go, go, go. Ja, komm. Shaking down the Shadowrunner isn't a good idea, sweetheart. Give me the old man's stick before I put a hole where your head is. He comes up short, frowning. His eyes shift from you to Duncan to the assault rifle on Duncan's back. I oh, oh, to hell with it. There's nothing on this old stick anyways. He tosses the cheap a stick back to you. The balance on his LED screen reads 063. You got what you came for. Now get out, yeah? I got a date in an hour, and I don't need you messing it up. Hard to mess up a date with a SimSense ship. Remember this next time you decide to shake down an old man. He waves you off. Yeah, yeah, get out. Kann man das jetzt dem old man geben? I don't want any trouble, boss. He excels sharply. Please, just leave me be. Hand him back his crutch stick. Here you go, man. Got this back for you. Oh, thank you, thank you. I, uh, I don't have anything that I can reward you with, but I appreciate what you did. Was? Er sagt einmal was. Just leave me be. Okay. Haben wir hier sonst noch was? Inspekt. Okay. 
this old rusted water valve might be able to close off the flow of water that's pouring out of the broken pipe. Duncan, can you give me a hand with this? Duncan steps up to the valve. Sure thing, shouldn't be too hard. The flow of water ceases. A less clean water will run off into the streets now. Damit haben wir alle drei Sachen erledigt. Und können das erstmal wieder abgeben. Die Blum Blum. Dorthin. The young woman startles at your approach, fumbling for something in her pocket. When she recognizes you, she relaxes. Is it done? It's done. Thank you, thank you so much! The young woman sighs with relief. She opens the flap on her satchel, reaches inside and produces a plastic sheath. I am not magically active, so I can't see the flow of chi in the area. But I've got test strips. Little sheets of paper embedded with key-sensitive bacteria. It's a close relative to FAP, but it doesn't see much use outside of Hong Kong. She pulls a strip out of the sheath and holds it to, into the, uh, it to the air. Within seconds it turns ink black. She lets out a dejected sigh, her eyes shifting from the strip to her watch, to the strip again. She looks utterly defeated. Damn it! I've been making adjustments for weeks now, trying to get a sheet to circulate better. And nothing seems to work. If anything, this one burn went bad even faster than the control strips I took when I got here. Maybe you're doing it wrong. I followed the texts, done everything right. It should work. The she here is rancid, that's obvious. But I swear, it's even worse than it should be. No wonder this place is so disgusting. The student coughs and rests her head in her hands. That's it, I'm getting out of here. I'm a little while, was in a little while, I got to tell my advisor about this. Thanks for the help. Uh, I hope you don't stay long. I sure as hell won't. Mm. Na gut. Dann gehen sie wieder nach unten. Inspect. Door panel, door panel. Maggots churn with stews on un unidentifiable ingredients. Hmm. That's nichts. A gun runner. A tubby man with a twice a broken nose glances up at you from a pile of gun parts. He offers you a gap toothed smile. Nice firearms here, got for good for protection. You got a husband or wife? You got kids? You keep him safe with one of these beauties. Quality is guaranteed. Your satisfaction is everything. You want to buy? Bao. No, you're selling the guns in this area? Got Bao permission to sell weapons in the store. Been selling a lot of them, even more than usual. He grins. That's good for me. How do you stand it here? Business is good here, man. Real good. Yeah, it's disgusting, but you go where the market is. Have you heard anyone say prosperity is in the walled city? He snorts his reply. If you're an organ legger or a gun runner or a triad, there's sure a as shit is, otherwise you are looking at a hand-to-mouth, meal-to-meal existence here. Show me what you've got. Ah, uh, that's the typical quark.
No thanks, Kotakun. Dann werden wir mal hier das. Cannot save all in action. Walk away. Seriously? Game saved. The door has been secured by a series of heavy bars with old motors to retract them. A stained and soiled keypad has been set into the door frame. Enter code. Also, wisst ihr, was der da gesagt hatte? Five, four, six, five. Five, four, six, five. The door unlocks. Ein Höllenhund. kann da aber so nichts sehen. Ah. Flanked. Ach, da kann man auch drauf ballern oder was? Summon Spirit ist das. Okay. Ja, das sollte eigentlich nicht nötig sein. Der 30 Hitpoints. Ah, der kann es auch nicht treffen. Ich weiß jetzt nicht, was der Hüllen und so kann. Ob der... Ähm... Ob der einen entfernen... Oh, das sind zwei. Zweimal Schaden gemacht. On fire. Es ist blöd, dass das direkt tickt, wenn er nochmal dran ist. Das war vorher schon scheiße. Wieso treffen die nicht? Da muss nur ein Schuss treffen, verdammt. Und da geht's hoch. Lotus denn. Ah, 
The door is secured by a lock with a badly dented keypad. The keys themselves are deeply scored, as though somebody has gone to work on them with a penknife. Four six five, aber das scheint dann nicht so zu sein. Decking drei haben wir nicht. Ja, ich gehe davon aus, dass man da später wieder hinkommt. Wenn man nochmal mit irgendwem was geredet hat. Nein, kann man da noch runter wieder. Open door. Two rooftops. Aha. Du, 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 du. Simpsons Vending Machine. The Simpsons Machine has been left unlocked for three stocking. There's a packaged data chip still in the tray. Seal the chip. Ah, code. Sechs, drei, sieben, acht, okay. Auch ein Door Panel. Sechs, drei, sieben, acht. Sechs, drei, sieben, acht. Door unlocks. A large man in his fifties stands waiting. His heavily tattooed arms held in a fighter's stance. His bone structure is heavy. Corded muscle stands out on his arms and chest. In his youth he must have been enormous. He doesn't talk so much as emit a low rumble. I don't know how you got in here, but you've got my attention. Good, I have a message from Kindly Cheng. Candy Graham for Strange Labao. Much love, Kindly Cheng. You're a hard man to find. Can you guess who sent me with a message? You're a foreigner and you know my name. Must have been Cheng. She's the only player on Heioi who'd work with such shoddy tools. So you have a message from the old lady, huh? I can't wait to hear you mangle it, he chuckles to himself. You speak Cantonese so well, but before I hear it, I have a little message for her too. You tell Kindly Cheng that her operations are done in the walled city. Strangler Bo Bao has given himself a promotion. And tell her that if she sends any more errant boys to visit him with another message, Strangler Bao is going to send them back in a box. You think you can tell her that, errant boy? Should I write it down for you in English? Hold out the data stick. Just slot the stick, listen to the message and I'll be gone, okay? Ah, oh, come on, Strangler, can I call you Strangler? We just want to hang out, play some video games, to try stuff. I'm pretty sure she'll react negatively to that. Why don't you just say, I left her message on your remains? I don't get to hear you butcher the message, I'm sad. Let's return to Hoi, deliver the data stick. He grabs the small plastic drive from your heart, slots it into his trit player. 
A kindly Cheng stands erect, speaks directly to the camera. Mr. Bao, as everyone knows, you are a man of swift action. I respect that, and because of that respect, I will get right to the point. I know where your money is coming from. I know that you have friends working for straw sandals like myself. They have been siphoning funds from the organizations. I know that the noble shop has you launder the money through. I have tasked their growth and found it want wanting. The old woman becomes flintly hard. You have been stealing from the Yellow Lotus, glorifying yourself with revenue that we have earned, and I have files to prove it. Bao's eyes widen as flies, uh, uh, files begin to fit, flit across the screen. Receives bank reports, personal communications between himself and his man. Kindly Cheng continues speaking, smooth and casual. Now, in light of our recent conflict, you might be wondering why I'm keeping this information to myself. Why I haven't exposed you, so you could be dragged from your lotus den by the balls and slowly roasted on the rotisserie spit. In truth, I respect your ambition. You have a lot uh, to learn about candor and loyalty, but I believe that you still have value. I am still willing to work with you. However, in order for that to happen, we need to come to an understanding about the nature of our partnership. Kindly Cheng steps forward, fills the screen. I own you, Bao. You and all of your men, you are my fucking playthings. Dolls to twist and pose as I see fit. I am in this position because I am far better at this than you, and it's time that you learned it. Accept what I am telling you, and we can get back to business, prosper together. But if you continue your little rebellion, I will mail tiny pieces of you to your children and take their picture as they open the package. She produces one of her thin black cigars, lights it, holds the smoke a long time. You have 24 hours to return to the fold. If you aren't here licking my heels by then, the information will be released and you will become food for fish. Your choice, Bao, 24 hours. The message rings out. Stranger Bao turns away from the screen slowly. His skin is ashen. Get out! He pauses, casts his eyes to the floor, and tell Mrs. Chang to expect me at Swift Winds tomorrow. He stands up straight. Tomorrow morning. It was a pleasure meeting you, Mr. Bao. I will. I let you know. Go, just go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Rooftops. Da gehen wir auch noch hin. Those guards are still out there, Cordor. The same guards that kindly doesn't want us killing. We should probably go out the way that we came in. Okay, da muss ich doch das unten hacken, weil hier ist nichts mehr. Aus seinen dieser Stash, äh, dieser Code von dem Typen. Der funktioniert auch unten. Weil hier ist nichts mehr. Sechs, drei, sieben, acht. Nö. Decking drei. Bypass the panel. Machen wir das. Wobei, ich speichere mal richtig ab. Ich 
glaube, das war Quatsch, aber... Door unlocks. This terminal looks like it might yield something valuable if you can crack it. Crack it. Attempt to lock in. Decking 1 cyber deck. Jack in. There is a ladder here leading upwards toward a hatch. Upon closer inspection, you see that the hatch is locked with a huge electronic deadbolt. There don't appear to be any physical controls to the bolt. Mit anderen Worten, ich könnte nichts machen, weil ich ja gar keine Möglichkeit habe zu decken, weil ich dieses Gerät nicht dafür habe. Kann ich mir das auch sparen. Dann kann ich mir das auch sparen. Mm. City of Darkness. Braucht man kein Decking zu lernen. Immerhin waren das 3, 5, 6 Punkte, die man sich dadurch spart. Äh, dann bleibt es, glaube ich, nur noch wieder zurückzulaufen. Ich gucke gleich nochmal in die Missionsbeschreibung. Aber ich glaube, da war nichts mehr. Press R to reload your current weapon. Ja, sehr schön. Ich drücke mal I, um das Inventar zu öffnen, aber da tut sich nichts. Ähm, ja, 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 ja. Return to Hoi. Danke, ja, wie sollen die doch hier sterben? Okay. Dann werden wir mal returnen, würde ich sagen. Ist ja jetzt nicht so, als wenn wir da Großes machen könnten. Wu holds up his hand for everyone to stop. Turns to the two of you and hooks his thumbs in his belt. Well, that was the thing. Never thought I'd be shutting messages between criminals in a Hong Kong syndicate. I can't imagine what Raymond would have wanted in the walled city. This place just feels wrong. Uh, no kidding, there's something off about it. It must have been important. He flew all the way here, hired runners for an escort. But why? This place makes you feel like your life has no value, like there's just no point of anything. He sighs and looks at your companion. Great life you have here. Gobbit ignores the barb, scratches her head. I can't believe it. We actually delivered the old lady's message without anyone dying. I've had enough of trials. Let's get out of this spit. I'm with you, Gancho. I don't need to see this place ever again. Gancho, seriously? Wu woggles pan down. Come to rest on Gobbit. That's not a st gonna stick, is it? Uh, wir können nochmal gucken, ob man nicht doch mit äh, vom Decking hier. Aber ich glaube, da waren ja gar keine Händler, die das angeboten hatten. Wir hatten nur diesen Waffendealer da hinten. Zumal man sich das Decking-Ding noch implantieren musste, oder? Ich glaube, das hätten wir machen können, wenn wir die andere mitgehabt hätte, hätten, die andere Person. Hey oi! Hey oi! Mal gerade aufschreiben, bevor ich hier. Hey oi! It's hard to shake off the walled city. Its gravity clings to you as if wretchedness itself had grown tentacles. The sounds of suffering subside, but their echoes still thrum your insides. Gobbit walks slowly, head down and both hands on her stomach, whispering a conversation to someone or something that holds 
that only she can see. Her rats are silent and remain hidden in her clothing. Wu pauses a moment and, and breathes a sigh of relief when you finally reach the streets. But returning to Heoi isn't like coming home. Suspicious looks and closed mouths accent unsmiling faces that billboard a universal message. You don't belong here. Time to report back to Kain Cheng and inform her that the message has been delivered. Get this business over with. Get your sin burned. Get on to the next step, whatever that is. You leave the city of darkness behind. Head to the Mahjong parlor and date with the crime lord. Mm -hmm. They are not worth it. A large axe is fashioned from overlapping strips of peeling ductile. Enter MRT's M MTR station. Hello. Like I said, members only show off. Spider Chen. The monk prop proprietor, uh, proprietor of uh, this store regards you coldly as you approach. Before you can even utter a word, you're interrupted. Nothing for sale here, not for you. You want to buy something, you get kindly Cheng to vouch for you first. Until then, screw off. Kann man da jetzt noch irgendwas tun? Aha. Board train und dann? Stay here. Na, no, holla die Waldfee. Dann äh, machen wir halt das Einzige, was wir machen können. Return to Kindly Cheng. Kindly Cheng watches you closely as you walk across the Mahjong parlor. As you approach, her lieutenant leans in, brings her mouth close to the tribe boss's ear. Cheng smiles and nods, her eyes are never leaving you. There's a twinkle in the straw sandal's eye. I've heard from Bao, he got her message very clearly. And I understand that you were no ca that there were no casualties uh, created during your little delivery run. I am pleased and surprised. Get that a lot. Gabba did a great job of guiding us. You have uh, gave simple instructions, would have taken an idiot to mess it up. I get that a lot. A wry grin. Do you? Perhaps your bravado is warranted. We'll see. My message was delivered in Stranger Bowers back in the fold. 750. Earning for me. As far as I'm concerned, our transaction is complete. While you were gone, I set the wheels in motion to wipe your identities. She pulls out her PDA, stabs a button with a... Uh, was? with a lacquered fingernail. Uh, the order has been sent. A uh, congratulations, you are now sinless shadow people. Wu exhales heavily. His eyes remain focused straight ahead, but his shoulders sag. Well, I guess that's done. 
I didn't like the way my life was going anyway. Well, figure a way out of this, Duncan. Wu pulls himself up to his full height. There's only one way out of this, Mike, and that's through it. Whoever gave the kill order on Carter also forced us to give up our identities and took Raymond. Wu sets his jaws firm. All That's all I can think about. Finding who did this. Finding Ray. Kan Li Cheng holds up a hand. While I was working to get your sins burned, I also had my network look into Raymond's Black's disappearance. She rests her PDA on the mahjong table facing you. The tried boss's tongue slips from her mouth as she looks over the top, hunting for the right button on its upside-down interface. She finds it and looks up at you again. I have news to share with you, my darlings, the kind you won't like. Raymond Black is dead. She taps the button and a recorded newscast appears on the screen. Raymond's photograph appears on the screen behind a reporter standing on the docks in Victoria Harbour. It's a picture you've seen before. A professional portrait taken for a press release amount about a youth centre was about a youth centre he was opening in the Redmond Barrens. And the Raymond's photo are the words Seattle Man Killed. Another shooting involved the police department. A Seattle community organizer and industrial engineer was apparently shot and killed while resisting arrest at the Victoria Harbor last night. HKPF police report that the UKAS man Raymond Black was behaving erratically and would not respond to police orders to surrender. No additional information regarding Black or why he was traveling to Hong Kong are available. Police have Started, uh, stated that due to his shooting's proximity to last night's shootout with the White Star, the investigation must remain confidential and no other details are being revealed at this time. Kindly Cheng taps the button again and the video closes. Wu puts his hands to his face. This just keeps getting worse. It definitely isn't getting any better. You were right, auntie. That was news I did not like. Raymond's dead. Wu puts its hand over his mouth, trying to process the information. He sways, and for a moment it looks as if he's going to pass out. Isabel reaches out to touch Wu, thinks better of it, and pulls her back, puts back her hand. Sorry for your loss. I never had a father, so I don't know what it's like to lose one, but sorry. Son of a bitch, Raymond's dead. Raymond dies the same night we are ambushed, that's no coincidence. You okay, Duncan? I don't think so. I don't think I'm gonna be okay for a long time, Mike. Kindly taps the video close. She hunts around the keypad and selects another button. I'm afraid that's not all, my darlings. This is security footage from Victoria Harbor from last night. You will find it contains a contradiction. The PDA shows silent, grainy video footage of Raymond sitting in, the, in a tea shop flanked by two guards. He is looking down at something in his hand, completely distracted. The footage continues and the camera displays several bl uh, black clad figures entering its field of view. From different angles, guns ready. A tall, a sharply de dressed man in a suit walks briskly towards Raymond, flanked by two more. Raymond stands to face him and the camera gets a clear view of the suit's face, white plastic. His guards turn to draw weapons and muzzle flashes erupt from all sides. One of Raymond's guards goes down and his submachine gun fires wildly, hitting the camera. Wu puts his hands on the table and le leans in. Those weren't cops and Raymond wasn't resisting arrest. What's with that guy's face? A gobbet reaches up to stroke the rat perched on her shoulder. Is that a mask? It doesn't look like a mask, it looks like some sort of semi-rigid plastic implant. Real craftsmanship. She pushes out her lower lip in appreciation. Quite the fashion accessory. Accessory. It's also the kind of fashion accessory. Uh, accessory? Accessory. Accessoire that stands out in a crowd. This guy is either a fool or an arrogant son of a bitch. Accessory. He sets his jam fir ja draw firm. Either way, I'm gonna find him. Kindly Cheng watches Wu instantly. I believe you. Wu stands back and turns to you. What now? I stay in the shadows. We don't... 
Was? If we stay in the shadows. We don't. We are dead too. We find the plastic face man and drag him somewhere private. Make him dig his own hole. Then we fill it. We find out who this plastic faced man is. Then we get some answers. With what resources? Cheng's eyes sparkle. I'm afraid there are some facts you are going to have to face. She puts, puts, a fa puts on a grave face. You're alone in this country. No network and no money. No identity. I can protect you from the police, but how would you go about discovering what happened to Raymond without me? How would you survive? This is a topic that requires serious consideration. Kindly wipes her hand across a stack of tiles, spreading the ivory-colored pieces across the table. You've had a very long night, my sweets, very long. And frankly, you all look like... and you look like shit. Rest now. I promise you safety, my town, for the night. We'll talk about the plastic-faced man tomorrow. Kindly gestures to Gobbet and Isabel. Ladies, go find our new friends a place to bed down in that rat's nest squat boat you call home. We'll all talk after you've slept. Figure out our next steps together. Yes, auntie. Yes, auntie. Thank you for your help, auntie. Can I ask a question, auntie? Rats nest squat boat. We'll call it the bot bolt hole. Ah, oh, this was a shift. It's the abandoned trawler we call home. Isabel tries to smile. It's homey. I meet you there. Let's go, Mike. I'm a beat to hell. Bed to hell. Trap, 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 trap. Mhm. Come on, mal mit der reden. No time for runners now. I have other business to attend to. Na gut. Das heißt, ich kann jetzt nur wieder zum Schiff latschen. Wir können aber auch nochmal gucken, ob wir hier mit dem Arzttypen reden können. Das muss ja dann... Da muss man ja die Implantate dann kaufen können. Ne? Dann werde ich auch hier erstmal wieder einen Schnitt machen und dann schauen wir beim nächsten Mal weiter. Bis denn!